How about a short video showing my Swift, the simplified Wi-Fi throttle that you can customize based on the article by Jeff Bunza and Railroad Model Hobbyist. That's a SMA30 simplified throttle if you want to look that up. Um, I built it with a little case with a battery in it. It's all DIY. I've got the switches on the front, a 10K pod in it, and an offline switch on the top, which I retrofitted from a, a round one that was on and off to a slide switch, although I don't like that slide because it's too easy to move by mistake. So I've got my Zephyr connected up, and I've got a little track coming over here with a uh, locomotive on it, San Francisco, or Santa Fe um, 2354. I've got a PR3 here. PR3 is connected up with a, a USB cable to my computer on the other side over there. Uh, I've got a router here that's connected up just to my computer. It doesn't have any internet on it, but it's listed as JMRI, which is what I have pre-programmed in my Swift. So if I turn this on, it'll look for the Wi-Fi first. If it finds a the Wi-Fi, then it'll look for the server. If it finds the server, it will connect. Once it connects, it will download the messages from the server that JMRI sends to any throttle logging in, and you'll see it flash by real quick. So let me turn this on. Swift number zero. And there's the messages downloading from the... Uh, Okay, so now to set the address, it says reverse for roster or forward and horn. So if I do reverse, it brings up the roster that was just downloaded from the server. And I can turn the knob and it'll rotate between the different roster entries. So Santa Fe is later on in the list because it's S, Santa Fe 2354. And it says neutral to set. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in neutral. And it will download all the functions from 0 to 28. And it's warning me, set the knob to 0. It won't do anything until I put it to 0, just in case you accidentally put it in forward or reverse. So once I put it to 0, it will show me the um, roster name as well as the DCC decoder number in the display. It shows the speed is 0. And the little line next to the zero box is a heartbeat. It comes on every eight seconds. And that heartbeat indicates that it is transmitting and receiving from the server. If the server goes down for any reason and it doesn't get any response within 17 seconds, it will uh, automatically do a communication fail and shut down, dispatch the locomotive. Uh, on the server end, if it doesn't get communication from this, it will automatically um, put a um, uh, emergency stop on the locomotive and shut it down. So now if I want to run this locomotive, um, it's not running right now because it won't start the prime mover until it's moving. So I'm going to put it forward and I'm just going to rotate it to one. Oh, it's, it's muted. <laughs> okay. So F8 is active on this. So I'm going to toggle F8. I'm going to put the bell and the lights on in neutral and then full speed. It will toggle the mute. And to get out of the toggled mute, to make it do something, put it down to zero speed and forward. So I can turn the bell off, do the horn. The horn is a momentary by pressing it down. And then pressing it up is short horn. And I have it obscure the display so that I know that it's actually doing something. Uh, forward and reverse show here. There's reverse, forward. And then the speed, as I rotate the knob, shows up in the box. But I don't want it to run off the end of my little track. So in reverse. And by the way, the lights are on now. And the lights have a dim position as well. So if I put it in dim, it's like F7 on the uh, decoder. Some decoders do that, some don't. 
Okay, and a couple things. If I wanted to do a switching speed, I can put this in neutral and put the dim on or the lights on full, full throttle, and then short horn. It puts it in the quarter speed mode. Now the quarter speed mode means that it is one fourth of whatever speed I put on here. So instead of going up to 126, the full throttle would only go up to 32. The reason I like that is that makes it easy to do a small number for switching. It's much easier to get a small number and control it exactly where you want it. So backing up, I need short horn. Turn the bell on. Rev up the engine. Prime mover. Got it running at three. Bell off. Throttle down. Lights off. To dispatch it. All you have to do is with the lights off and the bell off, in neutral, do a full twist, full throttle, dispatched. And if I want to quit from the actual JMRI server, put it in reverse and do my lights. If I put it in dim, it comes up with a message, lights off is quit, lights on is stay. So if I do quit, now I've quit from the server and it logs me off of JMRI. So now it won't do anything until I log back in. I'll turn it off. Thanks.